the Vectron locomotive. It has different electrical systems on board that allow it to travel across multiple countries through Europe. Since each country has its own electrical system, locomotives have to change systems when they cross borders. But the Vectron is versatile. It's equipped with uh, four different power systems and a number of different uh, safety systems, so we can switch from country to country. It's quite cool, quite complex loco. When it's working, and right now, this one isn't. Which is why we're already stopping for repairs. Because even new equipment can get damaged, and shipping cargo by train is a surprisingly rugged business. Here in Chiasso, locomotives are overhauled and revitalized. And just like with their watches, the Swiss have a reputation for keeping trains moving on time. One of the most vulnerable parts of the locomotive is the pantograph, the mechanism on top of the locomotive that pulls power in from the electrical lines above. And ours is busted. The 7,000 horsepower Vectron locomotive travels at a top speed of 99 miles per hour and draws power from above with its pantograph. The pantograph is 15 feet high and pulls in up to 25,000 volts of electricity, enough to power 200 houses. But it's fully exposed to the elements, and with voltage like this moving at high speeds, anything that gets in the way can cause major problems. A pantograph isn't the biggest component on a train, but it certainly is a vital one. It's what puts this Vectron locomotive down the rail. It's also what conducted an arc of electricity, powerful enough to punch a hole through the roof of this locomotive. This pantograph is toast. It's like three or four fatal problems with this thing. We're gonna loosen it up and remove the entire pantograph, bring in a new one and install it. Our train leaves in just 12 hours, so time is tight to get this loco ready. A new pantograph costs $18,000. Okay, last one here. Fixing a power line is 11,000 a minute. Quite a difference. There we go. All right. Next up, we patch the hole on top and bring in the replacement part. An $18,000 price tag means handle with care. It's a tight fit through here. You don't want to scratch up your brand new pantograph. Okay, we're getting the new one strapped up. It's good? Okay. Look at that brand new shiny pantograph. You can get a really good look at it here. These are the contacts right here. Pantographs have two carbon contacts that conduct electricity from the lines above to the train below. All right, the new component, we just have to set this down in place. It's just a tight fit in here. Ah, there we go. The new unit's in place, so a few connections, secure this down, and this Vectron locomotive will be ready for the tracks. Right on.